When you think of Bali, your mind instantly pictures beautiful bamboo tree houses nestled in the jungle, incredible waterfalls, serene yoga retreats, and a chance to connect with nature. But what if we told you we discovered all of that and more, not in Bali, but in Colombia? Welcome to Bali. Just kidding. We're in Colombia. We travel to the northern part of Colombia near the Venezuelan border, about 40 minutes from the city of Santa Marta. This area called Minca is in the middle of the jungle and this is where our adventure begins. When we first saw this property on Instagram, we couldn't believe this was actually in Colombia and not Bali because it looks exactly like something you would see in Bali. So let us show you this amazing property. Come with us. There are several types of accommodations here, but we decided to stay in the Toucan Tower, a Balinese-inspired design. If you don't like bugs, we recommend you stay in the other designs. We'll show you later what happened to us. Welcome to our treehouse in the Colombian jungle. All right, come on in, let's show you around. This way to the treehouse. And the most important thing when you're coming here is uh, the bug spray. Crucial. Crucial. As you can probably tell already, the room is one with nature. The absolute best part, of course, is the living room and the bedroom all combined into one. As you can see, we're gonna be sleeping pretty much outside. Take a look at the drone footage just to give you some perspective of exactly how this looks. Check it out. I still can't believe we are sleeping outside. There's nothing that's separating us from the jungle and the bugs and the birds and all that experience, that's for sure. <laughs> Not bad. Hopefully the mosquito net holds up though. <laughs> I really hope so too. Guys, we have a problem. There's a hole in the mosquito net. Yikes. Oh no, I think I just made it worse. I'm gonna take a hair clip and clip it because no one is leaving here with a mosquito bite. It's on my watch. If you guys saw our last video, you know that I'm probably getting PTSD from this, but this one is actually a little bit more comfortable, and obviously this is very, very different than what we experienced in our last video. And a little mini fridge, which has the essentials. Champagne. All right, so let's show you the bathroom. It's actually quite luxurious. We were impressed with the bathroom situation, given that it's in the middle of the jungle. The shower had warm water and all of the amenities. Hey there. I can actually peek on Daniel while he's showering. <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. When you're in the jungle, you have to expect every type of weather situation possible. It rains for hours at a time. This made us slow down and enjoy the scenery. What a beautiful sunset right behind us. Now we have a huge question, which is, what do we do when the sun goes down? Because there's literally nothing else to do. As soon as that goes down, like, we have no clue what we're gonna do. And I should add, the sun goes down at 5.30. Now that we turned on the lights here in the bedroom, it actually looks really, really awesome. It's so cozy in here. The bed's so soft. It added a little extra once we turned on the lights, I think. Here, even though the bed is so cozy, um, there is a jungle right out there. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully these mosquito nets hold up. I wish you guys could hear the sound of the bugs and everything out there in the jungle. It's, it's pretty loud. <laughs> Pray for us. We hope that hole that we fixed in our little net holds up and uh, hopefully we don't walk out of here with a bunch of mosquito bites. No one is leaving here with a mosquito bite. The mosquito net officially failed. Look at this. Might not look big. That thing is huge. We tried watching a movie, but the bug situation got a little interesting. There were several praying mantis all over our bed, and they were huge. <laughs> got <he. laughs> One of them was even staring us down. The next morning, I don't know how, but I broke the French press. So we had kind of crunchy coffee. By the way, we got butchered by mosquitoes last night. Our feet are a mess. No one is leaving here with a mosquito bite. We wanted to do yoga like those travel influencers in Bali. By we, I mean me. Daniel's not doing any yoga today. <laughs> I'm really excited. One of the perks of being the cameraman is that you get to skip out on the stuff that you don't want to do because you have to film it. Here are some clips of me pretending like I know what I'm doing in yoga class. 
After this, there was only one thing left to do. Check out the famous waterfall in the area. And also, just like in Bali, where you see those magnificent waterfalls, they have one here too. Let's go. As we started down the trail, we were instantly surrounded by the most lush and scenic jungle. We followed the marked trail through the mud and across some not so safe looking bridges. It's kind of awesome, like we are right in the heart of the Colombian jungle right now. Olga saw a leaf cutter ant, and now she thinks she's David Attenborough with her own little documentary, Life with Olga Raptors. After 30 minutes of trekking, we heard the distant roar of the water and knew we were getting close. We came to the river, and now that all was left was to cross. Right next to us is the river, and it's so powerful. Last night, that's all we heard. And some Colombians partying, so. At this point, I had instant regret. My legs were frozen. Welcome to La Cascada Escondida, which translates to the hidden waterfall. And as soon as we got to the entrance, it is pouring. I guess the waterfall wasn't so secret after all. They even charged us to get in. Like most waterfalls in Bali, you do have to pay to get in. So apparently, you can do some cliff jumping. We made our way into the water and no joke, it was ice cold, but so refreshing. I'm not gonna jump, I'm just gonna elegantly get into the water. <laughs> ice cold! Swimming under the waterfall was so much fun and we were living for it. We really felt like we were in Bali. Believe it or not, it was my first time swimming at a waterfall and I was soaking up every moment. I've never swam in a waterfall before. This was my first time. And oh my God, it's so beautiful. If you've seen our other videos, you know Daniel was gonna cliff jump. That was such a cool little adventure. Highly suggest the waterfall here. What an amazing. Yes. That was so cool. That was so cool. Core um, memory for sure. This place is truly Bali, but in Colombia. A flight to Bali might be, you know, from the US, might be like 12 hours or something, might be more, depending on the connections. Here in Colombia, it's not too bad, not too bad. Let's talk about prices. A night here is roughly $140 a night, which it's not too bad. I think it's definitely worth it just for the experience and just so you can say you slept in a place kind of like Bali. It was so beautiful. What an amazing experience, honestly. I feel, I truly feel like I'm in Bali. Not gonna lie, we really enjoyed our experience here. Salva Minka is truly a hidden gem in the jungle. Let us know what you think. Did we really find Bali in Colombia? As always, thank you so much for watching.